find alpha to the nearest tenth of a degree if zero is less than or equal to alpha is less than or equal to 180 degrees and the following equa equation is true. So how would I do this? Well, to me, it kind of reminds me of some of the problems that we've done in college algebra and even earlier in the term. And I know those are two proportions, so what if I set those equal to one another? So let's say I get 12.6 times the sine of alpha equals 7.8 sine 44.1 degrees. Well, that actually didn't do too bad, right? I've got a sine alpha, so I need to get that all by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 12.6. And when I do that, then the sine of alpha equals 7.8 sine 44.1 divided by 12.6. So how do you think I can do that? Well, I can simplify, since it says to the nearest tenth, I'm going to need to do that on my handy dandy little calculator. And when I do that, I get 0 0.4308. So this is great, but I still need to know what alpha is. Now, in order to find that, remember, I'm going to take the inverse sine of 0 0.4308. Now make sure when you actually do this, don't use the rounded number. Use that number that's still on your handy dandy little calculator. So when I do this calculation, I get that alpha is approximately 25.5 degrees. Okay, that's great, but I know that this interval is between 0 and 180. So I need to make sure that there's not another solution. So remember, how are you going to do that? Well, you want to make find that something that's got the same terminal side. And when I do that, I'm going to get 154.5 degrees. So how did I do that? I took 180 and I subtracted 25.5 in order to get the second solution.